Do you ever get those movies that, that come out and you're like, yeah, that's something I really want to see, but for some reason you don't get to it? And then you start to hear this hype about it and the movie's built up too much and you don't want to check it out because it's never going to live up to the hype that we've heard about it. Mandy is that kind of movie for me. I really do like Nicolas Cage. Now, admittedly, you can get some awful movies or you can get some really good ones. And it's always nice to see the Cageisms that he brings forth in his movies. That kind of wild and wacky actor that he has. But in this movie, it's a little bit different. Cage plays Red Miller, a man who is just happy in his existence. He uh, goes to his work, comes back to his loving partner. They have a nice secluded life and they just enjoy being around each other. It's, it's almost idyllic for them. That is until this cult leader happens to spot his wife and decides that she must be his new concubine. And this is what kickstarts everything that comes later on in the movie, which is just wonderful to get there. And it's all about the, the cult kidnapping Cage and his wife. Uh, something happens and Cage pretty much goes on a revenge mission the rest of the movie. And that is all you really need to know about it. But the movie has some exceptionally good things that's going to make this one that I go back to again and again. It has this style about it, this colour palette that is really like unlike anything else I have seen before. It, it creates these weird psychedelic moments as well as the movie bad guys are fueled by drugs and seeing them on this psychedelic trip, the movie has this weird way of putting you into that mood uh, visually and audio as well that's really unique and something special. But it's this colour, this pink that keeps coming through the movie constantly um, that just resonates with me as such a, a weird and strange image. Everything in this movie is very particular. You have these weird cutaways where it gives you these almost titles to the next act or chapter that just seem a little bit odd. And as the movie goes on, they start to twist and turn it into small animated segments that feel wholly natural within the entire production. You get this uh, vicious end to a movie that's rather melodic in the way it starts. It takes its time. You know, it doesn't rush to tell the story. And, but as things get near the end, it starts to increase the tension, the suspense, the violence in an exponential way. You also get these strange sub-characters of these bikers who have gone crazy on LSD. Now, that sounds rather pedestrian in the way you describe it but to see and hear these people are truly horrific these are things of nightmares these bikers they look gnarly they act disgustingly and there is just something altogether supernaturally odd about these characters the cult leader is himself is is rather endearing in the way that he is just manipulating everybody taking them for all that he possibly can uh, just making them do what he wants because he feels as if he's just entitled to whatever the heck he wants to do and he is going to do it that way. Cage, Cage is controlled here. It's one of the better Cage performances I've seen in a number of years. He knows exactly what he's doing. He almost goes in one scene but is pulled back and you've got to give credit to the director for really allowing him to, to breathe but not to go too far in the role. And when it gets to the latter, third of the movie, that's when things really go crazy. When we get a montage scene, which is wonderfully done, of Cage creating an axe weapon for him to, to use. <laughs> it sounds wacky, but it's also wonderful. And then the violence that comes after it is disgusting, it's in your face, it's bloody, it's wild. And this is a movie that is going to stick with me because of its artistic intent, because of its story, because of the performances, because of everything. I thought Mandy was terrifically well done. A really exciting, visually great story that is unlike anything else I can really think of. If you happen to bypass Mandy or if you feel as if you don't want to watch another Nick Cage movie, please give this one a shot. I think it is absolutely fantastic in almost every way. The themes, the story, the characters, very, uh, very much so in the, the visual style of the movie, which I feel is utterly unique and wonderful. Please go and check out Mandy. If you've seen it already, let me know in the comment box your thoughts on the movie and I'll see you next time on Man vs Film.